This is Steve Ridgell, and I've been thinking some lately about the passing of Willie Mays, who I think was uh, maybe uh, Babe Ruth, you've got to argue, might be the greatest player ever because he could pitch and hit. But Willie Mays was probably the best all-around everyday player in Major League history. He could run, he could throw, he could run him down and catch everything. I mean, the famous saying about Willie Mays, uh, center field when Willie Mays played was the place where triples go to die because he could run everything down. And he could hit for average, for power. He was fast. Uh, there were so many things that were great about the Say Hey Kid. And if he had played anywhere but San Francisco with the Bay, he would have hit more home runs than anybody ever. So there you go. But growing up, he was by far my favorite baseball player. My best friend Richard loved Mickey Mantle. We had lots of debates about who was the better player, Mickey Mantle or Willie Mays. And they were the two of the dominant players of that era. And so you're thinking, okay, here it comes. We're going to have one of those nostalgia part of my childhood died. And boy, it, no, that's not where I'm going with this. I mean, yeah, you do think, wow, because he was the player I wanted to be when I was a kid. And I was fast enough. I, and I could feel pretty well. I just couldn't read a ball off the bat like Willie Mays could. And I couldn't hit like Willie Mays. And I had no power. Well, and actually, I had no arm. So I wasn't much like Willie Mays, but I wanted to be. And you know what I never thought of in those days? That Willie Mays was black. He was. I, I mean, I, it wasn't like I didn't know he was black. I mean, I had his baseball card, and I could tell. I didn't know Mickey. I didn't think about Mickey Mantle being white, especially. And when we argued, nobody said anything about color or race. And looking back, I, I know it was a big deal that Willie Mays became such a great player because he started off in the Negro Leagues. And so... Boy, you know, he, he really did a lot for African-Americans in Major League Baseball. And so I guess maybe I should have been more aware of that. Maybe that would have been a good thing to say, wow, you need to know how bad it was and you need to know. And maybe I should have paid attention to all that. Or maybe it's a really good sign that I never even thought about Willie Mays being black. Never, never crossed my mind didn't say, wow, and he's a black man doing that, or of course he's doing that. He's a black. I never thought of any of that. He was just my favorite baseball player, which, of course, made the Giants my favorite team all the way up till well, till the Texas Rangers showed up. So I don't really know what to make of all that, whether I was sheltered in my childhood and we just weren't taught to think about, now, you know, that's black and that's white, and maybe that's a really good thing. Or maybe... I was just ignorant about the things that really did matter and just was happy about baseball and never thought about racism. I don't know. I just know that all my childhood growing up, he was my favorite, but still was, by the way. Uh, and I still argue, as you heard earlier, he's the greatest player ever. Uh, I just always loved Willie Mays, the ball player. Don't even know much about him as a man. But he was my favorite player, and that was it. He was a baseball player to me. And I think maybe that's really how I wish our world was. Who's your favorite baseball player? And don't think about color. Who's your fan? Don't think about color. Who? And don't think about color. Who? Don't think about color. Because, you know, God really did kind of make all of us and sent his son to die for all of us. And I'm not sure God sees color. And so maybe in my innocent childhood, it was pretty neat to have Willie Mays as a ball-playing hero. And even more special, I never thought about his race.